here we are, Monday, May 2nd, 2022. Huge rain yesterday. That was rain three days in a row. Look at my, this is just wild. I grew it from seed. A couple fell down there and it's still this. I mean, it's, I might make a little tiny sprig of broccoli. Look at this pepper on here. Oh, that's one of my first peppers. This is my pepper plant that I planted last February. So it's uh, uh, 15 months old, a little over a year old. And this will be its first real season to produce. It's got a couple little blossoms on there. And uh, this is the one of the only ones from last year that didn't get ants pouring into it. This is ant free. And uh, if you watched any of my pepper videos, what happens is the ants will get in here when this stem is new and fresh and it's got a hole down the middle and they'll get in there and they'll bore down in there and they plant a little uh, larvae and that larvae will go down and eat out the whole inside of your stem and uh, basically kind of destroy your plant from the inside out. It doesn't kill the plant, doesn't make it healthy though either. Uh, my six-year-old plant got killed in the frost this year and it uh, is a prime example of, you know, worm eaten. Uh, uh, yeah, worm eaten. Well, it's an ant with larvae of some kind, a larvae eaten pepper plant. But, anyways, that's one of the ones from last year. And th this is one, the other one. This was planted after February. This might even be June or July or so. So, that's an undamaged one. But all the rest of my uh, pepper plants are probably have some ant larvae boring damage just filming and talking for five minutes and then uh, the camera wasn't oh dear I wonder what I've done here so far anyways here my asper plant I guess I missed all of this this thing's doing pretty good got some new shoots out there nice big ones got a couple leaves opening up over here my air layer is uh, nice and wet bent was tore off several times yeah, by the uh, possums and raccoons, or raccoons, or whatever you call them. Those varmints. Can't get over here. You're not going out there. No, that's a no. Come here. Yeah, like she listens. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's going to like all this rain. I don't see any shoots coming up yet, but probably uh, after this rain, I'm sure something's going on underground with it. It's just, it needs this rain to get going. Here's the uh, packing tape packing wrap that I use. You just need about six miles of it wrapped around there and tied on to make that work so the animals can climb on it. Uh, I don't know if I missed my bird seed or not. I, again, I was so, man, look how big those are. Wow, those things are huge. I'm going to have to save some of these and replant them. Oh, what did I do with that one? Here. I'm gonna, I picked this one. I'm going to put it over here with my birds where my bird seed is on the ground. Can't get over here, come on. She likes to escape, wander away. This one's got pollen coming off of it, or it did. Yes, we're recording, gotta check that, make sure you're. And yeah, if this long inner node gets up there another 10 feet or just fills in with some leaves, it'll give me a lot of shade over here in my mushroom plantation. And uh, this thing took a pretty hard hit with the frost and the drought. It's complete. It's like eight, ten feet tall, but uh, it uh, it's all dead. It lost all that. But it's got a couple little sprouts down in there. And if we can keep it, well, I got to get that in a pan so it sits in some water. Bigger pot, more dirt would be good too. It's. Uh, yeah, needs a little bit of care. All right, well, there's my little bird seed. Just 
stuck it in the ground there. This is my little bird seed area. Where did my dog go? Well, I'll check these out. My first tomatoes of the season. I think they're ripening off. I better get them off of there before they explode with all this rain. And uh, these are just, you know, volunteers that sprouted up out of my little herb bin here. Got a bunch of baby broccolis in there. Uh, green onions. And you just snip the tops of these off and they grow back. So it's a perpetual kind of a thing there. And I it was growing the microgreens in there, but they, I harvested most of them. A couple wild ones in there still. Oh, she's already back in the house. Good girl. Oh, and some really sad news. Uh, my two... Uh-oh, where's my other one? I had two goldfish in here. I fed it this one this morning. And after the hard rain the other day, one of them came up missing. And then yesterday, when it was raining again, the water started churning around. And there he is. There's the one. A dead goldfish floated up. So we, uh, we lost a goldfish this weekend. Geez, I've had that. I'm not sure. That might be one that I've had for uh, 10 or 12 years. Yeah, I think that was the oldest, the older of the two. But anyways, we got one left. We have to get him a, another partner, I guess. And uh, we, our other fish, I don't know what his name was. May he rest in peace. All the rest of the fish are doing great. They'll probably come up here like little piranhas and try to tear my fish. Look at them. See that? Like little piranhas are trying to kill everything. There's never a mosquito in that barrel. And they can hear the birds singing out there, but nobody's going to be. Now well, they might come to the bird bath later. We'll see. But they got a lot of bath, a lot of bird bath filled everywhere now with all that rain. So that's the current state of affairs. Monday, May 2nd, 2022.